Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today, I wanted to show you, I've been so every time or every year about this time, I get really excited about getting back outside and planting my garden and cleaning up my yard. And, but this year I'm even more excited than I usually am. Um, I'm really gonna go to town on my vegetable garden this year and um, I'm gonna be fixing up some eyesores around the place that, you know, I've just kind of let go for a long time and it's gonna be so fun and I, and a lot of work. And I'd like you guys to come along with me. Um, maybe help me make some decisions about how to do things and there's, there's a lot of stuff I wanna do. But one of the things that I've always wanted to do and I haven't done is uh, plant a, like a cutting garden. We've got a pretty big piece of land back there to grow vegetables in and um, I've always wanted to grow flowers for cutting so that I can make things in the fall and especially the fall. The fall is like my favorite season and like so I can be thoughtful and take flowers to people sometimes when I think of them and you know make wreaths and all kinds of cute stuff out of the flowers. So Today, I wanted to show you some seeds that I ordered. I ordered from Park Seed, and this isn't uh, whatever it's called, uh, sponsored or anything like that. Uh, that's just who I ordered from, so I'm just telling you. Um, I've ordered from them before, and all the seeds came up great. They come in these packs that are just gold, so they don't have the big pretty pictures of the flowers on them, which I like to look at it. I'm weird, I like to read seed packets. Does anyone else do that? <laughs> okay, so let's start with this one. This is the Sunflower Giganteus. Um, this one comes with 50 seeds in the pack. It costs $1.95, which is awesome. Let's see, it will bloom in early summer to late summer. Um, it'll get 10 feet tall. And the width of the, the blooms is like 12 inches and the width of the plant plant <laughs> is 18 to 24 inches. This one will also seed so I can feed them to my chickens in the fall. The next one is, I got this one at Lowe's. Um, this is the dwarf teddy bear. Um, it's really cute. It gets uh, about 12, three feet tall, three feet tall. And it doesn't really say how wide the blooms will get, but we shall see. Um, I'm sure they'll be pretty big. I really want this one for like decorating with. The next sunflower that I got seed was the sunflower Soraya. This one comes with 25 seeds in the pack. It costs 250 for the pack. Um, it blooms early summer to late summer and that it gets about six feet, five to six feet tall. The plants are about 18 to 24 inches wide, and then the bloom size is four inches to six inches. It's quite a bit smaller and cute as heck. This one also will get the seeds on it so that I can feed them to the chickens or roast some sunflower seeds. Maybe we can do that in the fall too. That'll be fun. The next one that I got is called the Sunspot Sunflower. This one was $2.95 and it comes with 50 seeds. It blooms early to late summer. Um, it gets about two and a half feet tall. Uh, the plants are about eight to 10 inches wide and the bloom size is 10 inches. So, and this one also produces seeds. The next one I got is called the Cherry Rose Sunflower. Um, it was $2.95 for this pack of 25 seeds. The center of the petals are red and then it gets lighter on the outside of the petals. That's why I got this one. Um, it's really dense. It gets about five feet tall. It's uh, about th two to three feet wide and the blooms are three to four inches. So they're, they're smaller but they, they look like they really pack a punch as far as color goes. And lastly, of the sunflowers. So the next one I got is the Superded Hybrid Sunflower. Um, this is one that doesn't seed too. I forgot I bought this one actually. 
It kind of looks like the teddy bear one that I got from Lowe's. However, it gets a little bit over five feet tall and the bloom size is about three and a half inches wide. This one blooms in midsummer, and these ones are the ones that are recommended for like cut flowers and flower arrangements over the other seeded varieties. So um, this will be good. I'm glad I got it because I have the taller variety, these ones, and then that shorter variety. And um, this pack of 25 was $4.95. Okay, so I got the Park Seed Zinnia collection, and these seeds actually come on that tape. So it's really nice because you can just lay the tape on the soil and you barely cover it. And then, well, or actually you might need to cover it a little more. I'll have to read. Um, yeah, that's right. A fourth inch deep at the very most. And then as you water, the tape just dissolves. So it, it's really helpful if you're trying to grow things in a straight row, which I'm really not, but um, I bought this because it came with so many different colors of zinnia and I love zinnia. So um, it's got candy mix, giant cactus mix and peppermint stick. These bloom from early to late summer. They're about two to three feet tall and uh, the plants are about anywhere from 8 to 20 inches wide, it says. And then I think the flowers, since it's a mix, they're all going to be different sizes. But the colors on these are wow, wow, wow. Okay, I also got the Zinnia Parks Picks Purple. Um, these ones were $3.50. They come with 50 in a pack. They get about 4 feet tall about 10 to 12 inches wide, and then the blooms are four to five inches. So that's a pretty good size bloom. I'm so excited, and the color, look at the color on it. It's amazing. Um, I really wanted something purple because I didn't have much in the purple color family, so that's why I chose that one. Okay, next is the Snapdragon Chantilly Mix. I've grown Snapdragons and they're really easy to grow. And they're the cool ones that um, once their flowers fall off, the, the seed pods are, they look like little shrunken heads on a stick. Super cool. Um, I'll be sure to show you that in the fall. But um, these ones grow, you can collect the seeds really easily. This is one of the larger varieties. It gets about um, a little over three feet tall. The flowers, they just flower profusely. And this mix has a lot of pretty colors in it. Um, oranges, yellows, peaches, white. So I think that'll be really pretty. Um, this pack came with 25 seeds and it was 250. Um, and these bloom in the mid spring through late fall. These are great flowers. If you don't have snapdragons, you totally should. Um, they are annuals, but it doesn't matter. They basically come up every year because they just constantly are reseeding themselves. So they might not come up the same plant in the same place where you put the first seed, but they will come up and they're glorious and they'll fill in really thick and they're just like exploded with flowers. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna get into some of the more interesting ones. Um, this first one I'd never even heard of before. Um, it's called Craspedia Billy Buttons. Not belly buttons, Billy Buttons. It looks like a little drumstick, like a little yellow drumstick. So cute. Okay, so this one came with 50 seeds and it was $2.95. Um, oh no, did I say it came with 50 seeds? It comes with 50 seeds. The plants can range in height anywhere from four inches to 24 inches. So that's a big gap. I, it's probably depending on what conditions you grow them in. And the plant width is about eight to 10 inches. I'm not sure how big the flowers are, but they're just cute. I mean, look at them. They're just little tight balls of yellow flowers. I've always loved alum which are shaped the same as these, only they're much bigger in purple. And yeah, love them. And these bloom early spring to late summer as well. And I think they will look so 
good in uh, cut flower arrangements and in wreaths and that wreaths, wreaths, wreaths. Okay, next we've got the Gypsophila Gypsy and it's white. This one blooms late spring to early fall and it was $3.95 for 50 seeds. Um, the plant gets about six inches high and about eight inches wide. And the flowers are just little tiny, like baby's breath. It makes a good filler for an arrangement. So I'm excited about that one. This one I love. This one's a Komachi balloon flower. And look at those flowers. I mean, the color is fabulous. It reminds me of when someone blows a, a bubble with the hubba yubba bubble gum or whatever. I don't even know if they still make that. But um, this one might come back again and again because um, it says it's a zone four to nine plant and I'm in six. So it blooms uh, midsummer to early fall. It's got 25 seeds per pack and it's 350. Um, the plant is 18 inches tall and then the blooms are about two inches. So they're not huge but apparently they just look like they're blown up like balloons. How cute is that? I love it, and the color. I don't have any other color like that, so this will look great. Okay, the next one, I've never grown this before. It's called Celosia. Um, it's the Fiora Deep Gold, and they also call it Coxcomb because if you look at it, it looks like the, um, the comb that's on the rooster. It's so cool looking. Um, this one has 20 seeds in it. It's $4.95. Uh, it blooms early summer through early winter. Um, it gets about four feet tall. It's about 18 inches wide and the bloom is about four to six inches. So I am so excited to grow this one. I love, I love the colors. Gosh, it kind of looks like something that'd grow under a rock or on a rock under the ocean. Um, totally different from anything I've ever grown and I'm way excited. And that, the color, oh, the color is so pretty. Okay, the next thing that I got is the Strawberry Fields Gomfrina, Gomfrina seeds. This is a red globe amaranth and it's kind of a new thing. Um, the the flowers are all red like red red really pretty kind of resembles that uh the drumsticks that i just showed you but it's red and i think this will look really really good in arrangements um the blooms are small they're one to two inches the plant's about uh close to three feet tall and the width of the plant is 12 inches this one came with 50 seeds and it was 225 and um, it'll bloom from the early summer to the early fall. So it does have somewhat of a shorter blooming period than some of the other plants, but that's okay, because I really like this color and I think it'll add some real pizzam to some stuff. Okay, and then the last one is, this is weird because I'm actually planting a weed <laughs> in my garden, but we used to have a lot of these and they've kind of disappeared. I've been seeing a couple of them here and there the last couple of years, but they're pretty and they attract the monarch butterflies. And I haven't seen many monarch butterflies around for a while. I see the, the yellow, the swallowtail ones, but not the true monarchs. Very rarely do I see them. So I'm hoping this will help to attract them. And these are, they're actually pretty. Um, the flowers on them are pretty. And did you know that the Hoya plant comes from the milkweed family? So it's one of the Hoya's relatives. So I got to support that. Um, this one blooms midsummer to late summer. It's uh, 24, two to three feet tall, um, two to three feet wide. And it, I got 100 seeds for $3.95, which is very cheap, probably because it's a weed. <laughs> my, my dad would kill me if he knew I was planting a weed, but we just won't tell him. So, And you can also use these 
the blooms are really pretty, don't you guys think? And they're good for cutting as well, so. Okay guys, well that is my plant, my cutting, cutting flower bed seed haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're as excited as I am to get out into the garden and start making stuff grow out there. Um, some of these I'm going to be starting inside here probably the beginning of March. So, and someone suggested that I do some of the seeds in that green joy machine that I have and then some the regular way and see which one sprouts faster. And I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to do that for sure. Um, so we'll be doing that. And of course, I'll be doing houseplant videos as well, but I'm going to be mixing some of the outdoor stuff with the indoor because I love it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any seeds that you would recommend I add to my cutting garden, be sure to let me know. And let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you can pick one, it's super hard, but I hope you guys have a great day. I Winter's almost over, we can do this. And remember to plant on. <laughs>